Itching to fly? That might happen soon as a tourism department aims to create travel bubbles to save the country's tourism industry. But what exactly are travel bubbles? Dale De Vera explains. Amid the COVID-19 health crisis, tourism stakeholders are eyeing to reopen tourist destinations with no COVID-19 cases. Tourism Secretary Berna Romulo Puyat, Environment Secretary Roy Simatu, and Interior Secretary Eduardo Año are set to go to Boracay Island tomorrow to discuss developments with the local government unit. With the pandemic badly hitting the tourism sector, authorities believe that reopening tourist spots will prove to be a challenge. For one, health facilities in this destination should be well equipped, not just for COVID-19, but for other emergencies too. Puyat says donations of PCR testing machines from private companies like the MVP Group have been pouring in for well-visited locations like Boracay and Bohol. Ang main concern kasi ng turista ngayon, domestic or international, is it is it safe? Yes. So, number one, we will um, syempre open up yung mga first, yung safe, halos walang COVID, number one. Number two, syempre kahit na walang COVID, iti-check muna natin yung health protocols just in case uh, may pumasok, walang temperature, tapos during the stay, nagka-temperature. So ano yung protocols na gagawin? But welcoming international tourists may still be far-fetched. Puyat, however, says they are looking at creating travel bubbles or travel corridors. These are agreements between countries or places allowing tourists to travel without the need for quarantine. Travelers will also get to fly directly to tourist destinations without having to pass through Manila. They congesting Naia in turn. This, says authorities, might boost growth and open international airports. It's safe for the domestic tourists to go to that place kasi halos wala silang COVID. And eventually, we can open it to foreign tourists because you can match it with um, another ASEAN country. Meanwhile, the DOT has reiterated that accommodation establishments need a certificate of authority before going back to business to ensure the safety and health of travelers. The certification from the DOT remains free of charge. To apply, DOT accredited hotels may submit a letter of intent to their respective regional offices, while non-DOT accredited establishments will need to apply for accreditation first. Well, the hotels right now are gearing up for the opening. Uh, hopefully uh, by June. I think uh, we are uh, in good shape as far as uh, the viability of the hotels are concerned. For food establishments, the DOT reminds businesses to adhere to the guidelines that cover do's and don'ts on the areas of management, customers, and sanitation. To help the businesses thrive amid the pandemic, the tourism chief said a tax incentive is currently being tackled. This means a three-year income tax holiday and a duty-free importation of capital equipment will be in effect. Tax incentives will cover hotels and restaurants, mice or meetings, incentives, conferences and exhibition facilities, Facilities and tourism transport companies. For News 5, Dale Devera, We're One News.